Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! It's time to start the first level of the Soda Jungle. That airship was like between the Soda Jungle, but it actually starts the Soda Jungle. It's kind of weird how they transition that, but this is the official point when you see the cutscene of the start of the Soda Jungle is what I'm saying here. There's a pipe to go to other levels, but nah, let's not do that. Soda Jungle Dash 1, Giant Swing Along. It's Giant World Time, baby! Oh yeah! That was always a fun world in Mario 3. Here's it. Oh shoot! I ah, lost it. <laughs> it was loaded with imagination. Oh jeez! And uh, these, they, they react just like the originals do. So, oh shoot. I think there was something in here, actually. Yeah. Oh. I guess we may never know. We may never know. Actually, we probably will. Oh no, I need a power up power for that. Wait, is this something? It is something. That's helpful. It's, oh, slipperiness. Slippery Luigi physics. And this, oh geez. I thought it wasn't gonna come out. <laughs> it's not supposed to react like that. Or at least I don't think it is. Maybe, the, maybe they are slightly different than the original ones. And that was coin number two, so yeah, I I guess I did miss something. It was probably in that... Oh! It was probably in that box. And I accidentally pressed it down a little too early. I wanted to slide down the vine as soon as I grabbed onto it. That's why I pressed down there at all. But it was far, far too early. Alright. Boop! And... Gimme, gimme, gimme! Yes! Alright. Now this time, I'm going to learn from my mistake and be careful. Even though being careful is something that I should always be doing. <laughs> Just be honest here. Okay, let's do this, and then this. Yes! Okay, and there's a Luigi down at the bottom there. Hidden. You know, the um, one of the Luigi cameos in the levels that you can find. Oh, I wonder how you get this. Oh, no. <laughs> Just steamrolls them. And I wonder if there's a secret in that little pipe up there. I mean, there there might be. It's probably not a coin though, because the second coin is right here. No, ooh, that one stayed out a little bit longer. I guess it was because I was underneath it. Yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess their properties are slightly different than their uh, regular versions. I don't care about that bottom one. It's out of my jumping range. All right, doing well, doing good. Let's destroy everything! Yeah! Woohoo! That was the last coin. Oh shoot! Why did I do that again? I didn't learn anything. I didn't learn any of... <sighs> learn from any of my mistakes. I guess that's gonna be the habit of this part. Whenever I have to climb a vine, it's going to be me basically pressing down before I should be pressing down on the vine. <laughs> Alright, it's not that hard of a level, I'm just giving myself more grief than it needs to be. <laughs> oh shoot, can I reset their positions? I would very much appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Oh, poopers. Well, <laughs> I thought I could uh, respawn them, but I guess once they go in the water, they burn up. That water, if you didn't realize, is like some sort of ultra-polluted acidic water. So it's, uh, not something that's all that's safe to go into. Just saying. <laughs> Alright. It, uh, reacts actually like lava in that it's a one-hit kill sort of thing. Alright. Now, to that way. There we go. <sighs> Sometimes it's kind of tricky to get the Koopas to move in the direction that you want them to. And you can't, uh, like, pick up giant Koopa shells. Here, I'll show you. Because what happens when you hold the Y button is that you, you still end up kicking it anyway. And it just goes on forward. I guess maybe because they're too heavy to pick up or something like that? Maybe? That's that's my best guess. Alright, out of the way. Out of the way. You can do it. There you go. I just gotta get myself on the edge if you don't mind. Ah, that works. <laughs> Alright. Final stretch. Not much left to do. Not a hard level, and yet I still keep fumbling it up. <laughs> and here is 
when I destroyed everything in my path as it's set up to be. And look at that. See, was that hard at all? No, it wasn't. And yet, somehow, this level managed to take me nearly five minutes. <laughs> I guess it was just one of those kinds of levels that you just keep messing up on for no reason whatsoever. All right. Mitem House, go! There's a lot of secret eggs and exits in this world, by the way, so... Uh, uh, oh wow, I should be watching the items this time because they are the least amount of stuff to watch. Oh geez, getting tricky. Oh, I think I know which ones they are. This one and this one? Yes! <laughs> what do you think of that, Toad? What do you think of that? Well, you probably can't think all that much because I just gave you a couple of concussions there. Alright, now as I was saying, there are quite a few secret levels in this world, starting with this one right here, Soda Jungle 2, Dancing Blocks, Poison Swamp. That's a pretty, I, was, I don't want to say linear, but that's a pretty accurate name for uh, this level here. Wait, what's in here? Is there any, I just want to see if there's something. You just never know, they might be hiding something. Uh, wait a second... Yeah, you can do that to avoid the death of these blocks, so to speak. Mm -hmm. oh! Always, always remember that you indeed have a little floaty um, spin, so to speak. Mm -hmm. There we go. It's very handy to know that you can spin like that. Alright, oh wait, wait a second. Isn't there... Oh, yeah, that's where the secret exit is. That's pretty tricky to get to, though, so I'm gonna... Oh, shoot. I'll, I'll do the secret exit on another run, because I have to do two runs through this level anyway, so yeah. Woo! Oh, jeez. Coin. Oh, no, no. No, no, oh, jeez. <laughs> well, I had the right idea, except I was a little bit too early on my landing. No, Luigi. The blocks can really uh, throw you off though in your jumps because you got to be really careful as to how you land because you just never know how the physics, well I mean I suppose you could practice the physics of the blocks to master them but like on a first run you just aren't all that sure about it. And I've played this before but oh shoot! That was one of my worst jumps ever. Man, this part's kind of a disaster in general. <laughs> Let's just be honest here. I mean, that first level took way, way longer than it needed to be. It's not like the levels are getting that much harder either. It's just, the, just that I keep messing up stuff like that. <laughs> All right. Concentrate, PK Gam. There we go. So remember where the platforms pop up and spin when you need to. Yes, I'm sort of talking to myself. I guess I, I need that sort of reassurance on my strategy, I guess you could say. Okay, yes. And yes. Alright. Now remember that question mark block on the uh, other side there, just uh, for later. Yeah, that's an easier way to get that star coin, by the way. That's what I tried to do my first run through, but I just totally failed at that as well. And yes! Oh! No! I jumped a little too late there, which is why that happened. <sighs> no! Oh, Nabbit! Maybe... I was gonna say, maybe I should take a break from this level because I'm failing at it so bad badly, but I don't... <laughs> I'll just keep at it, because I already started it. Arrgh. I have to show the winning run too, I guess, so to speak. Alright... Okay... Good... See, there's just nothing that difficult about this level, I just don't understand why I'm having so many issues with it. And again, I had issues with the first level. I guess it's just not my day, per se. Alright, and 
this goes down there. Voila. That's number two. And now we glide over here. <laughs> Seriously? Now I'm just rushing. Ugh. I slipped off the edge and panicked. Alright, there. That's what I was trying to do for a good while now. And yeah, I opted to not show the uh, runs after all because things are getting a little bit too long here. Now, you've already seen how to collect all three coins. You just gotta do it all in the same run. Mm, there we go. But I'm still not done. I'm still not done. You know why? Because there's a secret exit to be found in this level. And it involves that pipe way, way up ahead. Uh, I can glide through most of this, actually. Oh! No, 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 no! We're not going to have any more of that. No more of that. We are practically done with this level. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to think of how I got in there. I think it involves a, uh, a P-switch, actually. If I'm, if I uh, recall correctly. Maybe it's that box right there? Hmm. Hmm. Just trying to think here. No, maybe it's not- oh, 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 it was that! That's what triggered this to appear, okay. And that makes those blocks pop out. Which takes us to this pipe. Woo! That means there was also a hollow spot up at the, uh, up at the ceiling there. Anything over here? Just want to check along the way. Okay, just wanted to be sure about that. Alright, not that I really need this, because I have this power of squirrel. Woo! Voila! See, was that hard? No, it wasn't hard! Uh, yeah, I made it seem like it was hard. <laughs> And this leads way, way, way ahead in World 5 to the last two levels of the world. Actually, Well, actually, it leads to the two before the last level. Anyway, let's go and take on Nabbit at the Giant Swing Along. Oh, yeah. This stage is uh, designed in that you can pretty much just run through the whole stage for the most part. In that... Oh, there's some platforms for Nabbit. Arr, you cheater. <laughs> Oh shoot, didn't actually mean to do that, which means I probably lost too much time. I can't exactly run through this stuff. <laughs> oh, 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 Alright, because I'm expecting the cuts, uh, cut down the video to like 11, 12 minutes or so, I think I'm gonna have enough time to do this level. Heart of Bramble Woods at Soda Jungle Dash 3. Oh, spooky. So spooky. Oh no. This is pretty fun, just bouncing on them through the whole level like this. Well, maybe not the whole level, but you get, you get what I'm saying here. Oh, shoot! He used to say they have rather spiky uh, legs. Wait a second. Oh, I need I need to hit that actually. Can I nick that? That's the question. Yes, I can nick that. The reason why I need to do that is to get in here for this coin. There we go. That's number one. What do I do about you? <laughs> I can do this. I guess that's what I'll do about you. I'll just leave you live. Ooh. Oh, beware of quick legs. Ooh. Sneak. Oh, didn't sneak well enough. Well, I did sneak good enough to get to this point. Right. There we go. Because it was just those first two levels that utterly destroyed me for whatever reason this far. I don't know why. <laughs> um, I guess I'll do the life house as well because that went really, really quickly. Woo! And now... Life house! 
I wanted to give myself enough time to put a timestamp on YouTube description things. Three, two, one, start! Let's see how many lives I can recover after the disaster first two levels of this world. I have more opportunities for lives. So I'll shoot in this one. Oh, oh, come on. I'm not getting any of them. I'm not, not even getting any Bowsers. Oh, there we go. Uh, oh, oh. oh, yes. Oh, it went right over my head. The hitboxes of these one-ups are a little bit finicky sometimes. So is the Bowsers, actually. Got O2 out of that. Yeah, well. Not bad. Still haven't reached that elusive 99 yet, but I will. Oh, I will. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part.